the gun I'll down. show you with the box. What was in the box? Oh, uh, what's in the box? So I just took a walk downtown uh, to the post office, and I picked up a big old box of movies. Give me the what's gun. in the fucking box? Give me the gun. This is 50 DVDs of randomly selected 18 plus movies. Oh god! Oh god! Uh... <laughs> it's very warm in here and I need like a clean desk so I'll, I'll switch the set real quick. Camera 1, camera 2, microphone. Let's go. I'm so excited. Okay. 10% off. 10% off. Even more of those. We first one is Cockneys vs Zombies. <laughs> Amazing. I don't I don't know what this is. I'm gonna th throw all these over there. Recoil with Danny Trejo. You no, know we love Danny Trejo here. Amazing. Oh my goodness! Dying breed. I have no idea what this is. Keep the bloodline flowing. But it stars Lee Wanell, the writer and actor in Saw. He played Adam. What's your name? My name is very fucking confused. What's your name? Well, that's, that's exciting. All of these are rated 18 plus, by the way, by this German rating system. Samuel L. Jackson, Carrie Ann Moss and Michael Sheen. Unthinkable. I don't know what any of these are. It's oh my god, it's a Steven Seagal movie. Kill Switch. No idea. The second season of Californication. Sure. Michael Fassbender in Centurion Fight or Die. Histories written in blood. 19 minutes. I should have looked at the runtime of these. Because like I expect most of them to be basically just 90 minutes. This looks so bad. Oh my god. Shoot him down. It straight up has tits on the back. 100% sexy. This is heavy. It's just one dick. Uh, <laughs> it's just one disc. Oh my god, it's a steel book. Scared. Um, oh wow, it's, the disc came out. It's like one of those... This just goes on a rubber thing in here. Oh wow! Crank! I actually thought about getting this. And it's the uncut version. Nice. This is actually a real movie. But I, I'm gonna keep that on the table. The Baytown's Outlaws with Billy Bob Thornton. Um, this is this looks so filled with shit. Like, look at the amount of stuff on this cover. Now, a history of violence. This, um, I saw this on TV once. And I, th I, I think I like this. I think this is a good one. I'm gonna keep that on the table. Now it's Viggo Mortensen. He played Aragorn in Lord of the Rings. Se <laughs> Centurion. Um, fight or die again. If anyone wants this, hit me up. Re <laughs> Resident Evil Apocalypse. Now this again is one of, it's a movie people know. This isn't like absolute it is absolute garbage, but it's not something that no one wants to know, you know? Oh my god. What the fuck? This is... Whoa, whoa, whoa! I was not expecting this. That's a lot. Which one is this? How many Resident Evils are there? In which order does this... Oh my god, I fucking hate this set. That... I'm gonna keep that up here, though. Gamer! By the uh, guys behind Crank, which I kept up here. I'm gonna throw this down there, because I don't know it. And everything I don't know is shit. Paris by Night of the Living Dead. I'm not kidding. Paris by Night of the Living Dead. An Elvis short film edition. This is a, is this a short film? My god, this DVD, this runs 12 minutes. Excited to watch that one. Commando! This is, again, an actual movie. It's like a stupid, dumb, 80s action Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't know if this like, uncut or... Uh, but I'm gonna keep this up here. Z wow, this feels weird. This feels cheap. Zombie Invasion War, another Danny Trejo fling. I'm excited to watch the Danny Trejo ones. Cause like, he's in so much garbage. 
<laughs> Centurion! Fight or die! Number three. Um. My shadow! I don't know what this is. Hostile meets the descent. Oh god. It's torture porn. It's torture porn. House on the hill. Warning! Explicit content. Fuck you. The true story of a San Francisco serial killer. Don't know which one. This is 73 minutes. One hour and 13. Now, it's a blue case. That You see that rarely. Steve Austin's tactical force. Why do I get so much bad action? I want more horror. Give me bad horror. Uh, Perdita Durango? Perdita Durango. It's Oh my god, it's over two hours. Now, if it's much longer than 90 minutes, then it's much more likely that this is an actual film. Either way. Now, these two were through the first row. Now, Twilight fans. The Twilight Werewolf. This is rated 16! What a ripoff! I ordered 50 18 plus DVDs and I get The Twilight Werewolf, which is rated 16 plus from the producers of Dark Soldiers. I don't know if anyone knows what Dark Soldiers is, but. It's an Uber Ball movie! Ah, Uwe Boll, for those who don't know, is one of the worst directors in history. He's German. He's actually from Germany. Basically, my message is... Fuck yourself. Uh, <laughs> um, the director's cut of Alone in the Dark in... Okay, this is... So it isn't a steelbook, but it's a, like, metal slipcover for a normal DVD. G whatever, Marvel Avengers bullshit dirt. Um... I'm gonna keep this up here, actually. I know that it's terrible, but I'm gonna keep this up here anyway. So now, we're halfway through, halfway through, and we've got one, two, three, four, five movies. Those aren't movies. Discover the Dark Side of Berlin, Urban Explorer. Now, I did some urban exploring. Actually, my first few videos on this channel are a friend of me doing some urban exploring. So, oh, wow. Clint Eastwood, the Clint Eastwood collection, High Plains Drifter. Now this is 18 plus, but it's 18 plus by the BBFC, which is the Britain rating system. So this isn't a German release, this is from Britain. High Plains Drifter. I haven't heard of High Plains Drifter, but I know this artwork, and I'm pretty sure that it doesn't belong to that movie. Now High Plains Drifter here um, actually does have that as the artwork and it actually should belong on the pile of real movies instead of me just like throwing it like I did in the video. Um, I just didn't recognize it as a movie I know because I only know it by the German title which is Man Without a Name. This is actually pretty exciting to have because I am a fan of like the Clint Eastwood Western type of movies. It does go on the pile of actual real films. Hannibal! A Ridley Scott film. Deluxe widescreen edition. It's a two disc thing. That's actually cool. That's actually cool. I gotta watch the other ones from that franchise first though. Frankenstein's Army. Frankenstein's Army in like a Nazi font showing a gas mask guy on stilts. And now this looks like Slipknot. This just straight up looks like a, a photo of the band Slipknot. And then here we have a picture of a guy looking at some exposed brain. I wonder what this is gonna be. The Silent House. La Casa Muda. Is this like Spanish? Mexican? In Spanish. I don't know if it's from Spain. Horror Mania. With Marvel ads on the back. I wonder if Marvel likes their connection to the film The Silent House. Oh! 30 Days of Night, a completely fucked um, cardboard sleeve and discs. This is like a deluxe edition of 30 Days of Night, which is, I think, a vampire film or zombie film. Yeah, with this one, it's actually a shame that it's red. Like 90% of these, I wouldn't have given a shit if they were broken. Why is that not recording? Fuck you. <laughs> Woo! Centurion! <laughs> Fight or die. Four. For the fourth time. Oh no. The Revenant. Undead like us. Cool undead extras. It looks absolute like absolute dog shite. Whoop. 
Uh, the Punisher! John Travolta is in The Punisher? I didn't know John Travolta is in The Punisher. Um, Punisher by Marvel. It's a Marvel Comics line. Uh, Kill Theory? Deep down, we are all killers. Zombie Apocalypse? The Payback. Now this looks like a trashy film I'd like. Hold your breath. The shadow effect. Another action thing. Revenge is a bitch. Run bitch run. Which is again BBFC 18, not FSK 18. So this is a British release. Contains strong violence, sex, sexual violence and hard drugs. <laughs> son of Sam. Hey Sam, do you miss your son? By director... Uli Lommel, and uh, um, that's the name, I guess. Starring Yogi Yoshi. These seem made up, these names seem made up to me. Is this Dutch? Dane! They probably tried to go for like, a scary demon name? Uh, and ended up calling it Dane! A film by Toby Hooper! Oh! I've never heard of this. What's the original title? Cause Toby Hooper made the first two Texas Chainsaw Massacre films. Because it looks like absolute trash from every angle. I'd usually just throw it over there without giving it a second thought. But it's by Toby Hooper. Now I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna throw it down there. Another Steven Seagal movie. A dangerous man. They began it, he's gonna end it. Is that an Ice Age quote? <laughs> Don't make me reach back there. Yeah, well, he started it. I don't care who started it. I'll finish it. <coughs> House of the Butcher 2. Oh my god. This weird 3D uh, model CG chair. Boop. It's another FSK 16 one, so I've been lied to once again. Arn. We're almost through. These are the last ones. Clive Barker! By Clive Barker, who made Hellraiser and Candyman. Dead. Uh, dread. <laughs> is it actually directed by Clive Barker? Produced? My guess is that Clive Barker was like a producer by giving them some money. They advertised it with his name on it, like as much as possible. So, another one that's actually sealed, brand new. The Hike, uncut. So now you're trying to make hiking scary. Is this, this like Friday the 13th ripoff? Huh? They linked their Facebook on the DVD. Who does that? Fuck me. Masters of Horror 8. Masters of Horror 8. Now this is the kind of shit I'm, I'm here for. Bad horror movies are infinitely more entertaining than bad action movies. This seems to be like not a movie, but several short films. Also, this looks very cheap. These all have different directors. So it's an anthology horror with four short films, and it's the eighth one of these. I'm interested in what this is, because, like, judging by how cheap this looks, this must be rare. <laughs> Western? I literally can't read what the title is. Like, the subtitle is Man Without Fear, but what the fuck does this say? So it's a western reminding of Sergio Leone. Now Sergio Leone westerns are some of the best fucking movies ever. I doubt this is. Now the last two. I already saw what that is now, but... <laughs> More brutal than hostile. H6, Diary of a Serial Killer. The extended version of Aliens vs. Predator 2. For those who don't know, Aliens was a horror franchise with like two great films. One kind of mediocre, kind of bad film. Then uh, f the fourth one was really shit. And Predator, I don't know how many of those uh, exist, but there's there's like a few. And then they crossed over into Alien vs. Predator, which wasn't very good. And then they made Alien vs. Predator 2. Um, I've not seen this, but I'm going to put this up here on the pile of films that might be like these are the ones I know of I don't know if these are any better than any of those because I haven't seen any of these um, so now I'm done unpacking the whole thing 
So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in a separate corner of my collection. The, let me get the microphone over here. In a separate corner of my collection. I'm not gonna put this in my collection because I don't want to accept any of these. And I'm going to call it the absolute horseshit corner. In which I will store all of this garbage and more that that's not in this box. And I'm gonna watch each of them with a friend. Uh, and then we're gonna g discuss if it's an actual movie worth keeping or if it goes on the absolute horseshit pile and we get rid of the DVD. To have actually, I, I said I haven't seen any of these. I have seen Crank. But yeah, we're gonna do that to these anyway. I separated them now for this video, but um, I wanted to see how many actual movies come out of these 50. Um, I'm gonna see if I can fix this. <laughs> Fuck me. My daughter is ein Doctor, my father is ein Krankenschwester. My daughter is ein Doctor.